Raul Jimenez, what a day for him, his comeback at last. What a time it's been for him on the sidelines. It is worth pointing out, it is absolutely baking hot here at Gresty Road. Temperature around 27 degrees at kickoff today. Ryan Aitnuri, who's oh, secured his basketball. permanent future at Wolves after joining very recently. Fabio Silva looking for Aitnuri. Didn't quite run for Francisco Trincao. Well, it's a fantastic bit of skill there from Itnuri. You know, he's done a little kind of, it was like a little kind of Cruyff turn. Uh, and then the weight of pass to put Fabio Silva through was excellent. I'm thinking Silva as well there. You know, I think just get your shoulder and get a shot away. You know, just get that first shot of the game. Jimenez dropping off the front. Fabio Silva. A chance for Wolves on his weaker side. It was a good block. The Wolves have themselves a corner. Wolves, of course, did used to come here relatively often at the start of the noughties, but haven't played here now since 2014 when they won promotion from League One. Francisco Trincao lining one up. Finding the back of the Rhino safety stand. Again, Jimenez coming deep. Great first touch, linking up well with Gibbs White. A little bit of luck, but Trincao's seen that, anticipates it, goes and takes the ball. And you know what? He'll be disappointed he's not. He's not worked the goalkeeper. He's struck it well, but he's went for power there. True throw has been taken. At a BC out there. And it comes. Ruddy leaves it. And Ruddy makes the save in the end. A bit of miscommunication between him and Marcel. Well, it's one of those that they both went and kind of shook hands there, but it is it's communication. I think Marcel there has got to just come and defend well. You're know, looking at it's fantastic ball in the box. You know, it's one of them. It's it's, the, it's, you know what, not a lot can do with it. The, 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 again, it's Kirk as well with it, the shape of the ball. And it's a good save by Ruddy in the end. You know, it's just a reaction save, isn't it? Ruddy looking for a way out. And a BC challenging Hoover. Think out. Perry losing out. Crew going for goal and just past the post there from Long. Again, it was uh, Trukau, so he just uh, he got caught in, in the middle. Great little bit of trickery, he's got away from his man, but then he's he's caught up, made a great challenge. Long was in, in space, he's turned, and to be fair, he couldn't really be affected. I think it was Willie Ball, it was just too far away from him there. So he just tries to kind of present himself, but he's took the shot on, to be fair. He had uh, he had really uh, scramble in there, but it was just wide. High towards Jimenez, on to Fabio Silva. So he was it's a caught. Bad challenge, uh, by the way. It's a bad challenge. There. He has no intent for the ball there. Silver's watching the ball all the way, and it's it's a poor one coming across the back because it's just basically he's, he's not even trying to head the ball there. Holding his face here, Fabio Silva. Look awful. You know, there's there's no there's nothing in that. You know, it's it's a shocking challenge. Shocking challenge. Yeah, Luke Offord it was who went in on Fabio Silva. To his credit, back on his feet already and. I think he'll be okay. You can see him holding his face just now, and it's a sore one, you know, because he's watching the ball all the way. He's just thinking, look, can I nick this? Can I get away from the centre back here? The centre back's already made his mind up. I'm going to try and leave one on you here, and, and it's, it's, it's a poor chance. The ref's got to be up to speed with that and make sure that that doesn't that, that that's not allowed. Well, we haven't seen too much of this over the last few years. Could it be a parting gift today? Yeah, Raúl nice. Jiménez. First game back for Wolves, Jimenez. Oh, it's off the bar. I think it may have taken a deflection on the way through as well. It is a Wolves corner. Yeah, Dave Richards was, was moving there. It took a little nick off, off the wall. And to be fair, Dave Richards had no chance. And it just wouldn't come down off the top of the crossbar there. And like you say, I think that change is going to be made. And it would have been lovely for him just to come back and get that goal. But it will come. Well, here comes the change. Has been out of action for 230 days, but today Raul Jimenez makes his Wolves comeback. A fine thing to see and gets applause from all four sides of this stadium. He is back in Wolves colours once again. And you know what, I think he'll be very happy with that. You know, the touches were there. Movement was excellent, you know, finding, d d just doing what he, he, he usually does. And there he's just come straight inside central now, which is part of it, isn't it? It's what you, what you see. Yeah, sitting in an attacking midfield position at the moment. 
through here. Patrick Atrone is in for Wolves. Thwarted by Richards, it's still there. But cleared away from danger for Crew. Well, it's quite serious. Fantastic ball, isn't it, from Gibbs White there? Catroni's through. And it's, it's a great first touch and take. Fantastic save, I've got to say. She takes all the, the pace off the ball from Dave Richards there. Look at Bueno. And his kinder to his teammates, perhaps unsurprisingly. Campbell. Chem Campbell. Nicely worked, Dadashov. Catrone! What a block that was to deny the Italian. Throwing himself in the way of that one there was Tommy Hoban, and behind it goes for a corner. Well, Petrone just kind of pushed open on the top of the head, saying how he's he done everything right. I've got to say, uh, Campbell, I'm thinking he'd get the shot away there. You know, he'd made the angle for himself, but kept it very well. Dadashov as well, could have got the shot away, but it's a great set for Catroni. Done everything right, I've got to say, Tommy Hoban, it's a fantastic block. It is a, honestly, it's a, because the keeper is beat. Already taken, and Crew could be in here, they are in, and they've scored a quite fortuitous goal in the end as it goes in off Chris Long, off one boot onto the other, beating John Ruddy, and Crew have the lead. Well, I'm just looking at that goal as well, it's Charlie Cobb that actually takes the corner kick and then runs along the, the goal line. Uh, so there's a player on the post, I've got to say, I think they've got to come out, they've got to step up. And then that, he's offside when he gets that ball back. I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll get it back on the monitor here. But you understand, so Charlie Cutts took the corner. He's not had to run onside. He's just basically run across the goal line. So the person who's on the post has to step up. And when he receives the ball back, he's offside. So that's, a, that's an interesting one. The deepest line player was, uh, was Marquez. So I've got to think here that, that no one's on the post. Wolves do like to keep a young age group for each of their teams, although Crew in here, chance for 2-0, it should be, it still might be, still an opportunity to put the ball in, and it's a really good block in the end there. To get it away it was Jack Scott who got his body in the way, it's not Crew making it 2-0. Well again, Jack Scott threw himself at it, the block had to be made, you know, it was, uh, it, it just came, it came from, came from nothing really, just a little bit of an error, but then, Again, it's fantastic play. That a shot. This is to be Wolves' moment. Catrone! A save from Will Jaskalainen. Just about as close as Wolves have come, really, all afternoon. And it may well be Catrone's final act. Bueno forward. Samuels here with a great chance. Austin Samuels! What an introduction that would have been. Scored in pre-season a few years ago at Peterborough. And with another opportunity here on his left foot, couldn't quite hit the target. Condol. There are a couple up there. This has got to be it for Wolves now. Dadashov. He goes for goal. And Jaskalainen makes the save. Samuels. But that is time. It's all over here at Gresty Road. Wolves protesting that time hasn't been played. But the referee, Andy Haynes, has had enough. It ends in defeat, but of course, it's all about the fitness at this stage. No real problems. Wolves look sharp in the first half, and ultimately, Chris Wellamo, a goal eight minutes into the second half, has been their undoing after they made all those changes. Yeah, you know what? It's, I, 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 there's, there's more positives uh, to take out of today's match. Like you say, fitness, everyone got through it. Uh, it's definitely a plus side, but I've seen a lot of positives, a lot of individual performances there. You know, I thought uh, Jen Campbell, I thought he was, was excellent. You know, even even Catroni coming on, those opportunities again, his movement. You know, we all talk about his body language and things like that. But again, it's early days. You know, I think he's, he was wanting the ball, he was challenging, he's working hard without it. You know, I think uh, I thought the first half, Morgan Gibbs White was excellent. Raúl Jiménez looked. You know, the touch, the movement was was back. Trincao again looks like he's going to be very effective. Can see a pass, execute it, wants it, finds those little pockets. You, you commented on Aitnuri as well. We could go through them all. There's so many positives, but like you say, it's early doors. It's the first game, and it's it's only going to get better. It's only going to get sharper. But again, it got the, there was chances created. Jimenez hit the bar. Second half, keepers uh, asked a few questions, and that's what you want.